Hey guys, welcome back to Wolf's Tavern Retro here. Uh, got a special recipe that we're going to be doing today. If you've got a big family like mine, this is perfect. Uh, we got some ingredients over here. We're going to be making a cottage pie. Now, if you've heard of a shepherd's pie before, a shepherd's pie is typically made with lamb or mutton. Uh, this is made with beef, so anything not made with lamb or mutton is known as a cottage pie. So let's take a look. All right, so we have a pound of our ground hamburger, salt and pepper, two cans of our gravy, we have a quarter of an onion chopped, we have one can of peas, two cans of corn, two cans of carrots, and then if you caught Wolf's recipe last week on garlic mashed potatoes, I have a double helping of that, and the link will be down below for you to go check that out. And then we have some shredded cheddar we're going to use at the very end. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our beef going. I'm going to break up my pound of beef here, and then I'm going to be adding some seasoning, and we're going to add the onions in. All right, while the pan's heating up, we're gonna add some pepper, we're gonna add some salt to the meat, and we're gonna add in our onion to cook with the meat. We're gonna mix this up, and we're gonna brown it, and we're gonna drain it. All right, once you have this brown and strained and put back into your pan, we're gonna move over to our large pot. We're gonna add in one can of gravy now, to the bottom here. Now, how much gravy you use is entirely up to you. Because I'm making such a large batch, uh, you would just pretty much cut this entire recipe in half if you were making it for two or three people. I'm making it for five, so I've got to use a little bit more. So I'm going to put that in there, and I'm also going to turn the heat up onto a fairly high temperature because I want to bring the gravy to a boil. While that's on, I'm going to go ahead and add my hamburger and onions. We're going to add our vegetables. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle them in. Our corn. Carrots. And we're going to stir this together and then we're going to add our last can of gravy on top. And then we're going to mix it in. And the goal is to bring the gravy to a boil for about three minutes. Because as the gravy boils, it thickens up inside of the stew. Okay, so you can see we've already got the gravy starting to boil up here. We're going to wait till it's completely boiling for about three minutes. And while that's happening, we're going to set the oven to 375. And give that some time to uh, heat up. Alright, so we've had this boiling for a few minutes, we've turned off our heat. Our oven is still preheating, but that's okay. We're gonna take our mashed potatoes, and as I said, I've made a, a double batch here, and we're gonna put this on as a top layer coating to the whole thing. And you may use all of the uh, double batch, you may not. If you don't use all of it, that's just more to enjoy afterwards. All right. So we've got actually ended up using the entire double batch filled right up to the top. You want to completely cover it because you got to think of it like the topping of a pie. Now we're going to add cheese to the top of this and a pretty generous amount all over the top here. And our oven just finished preheating a second ago. And there's no measurement for this. It's kind of how much you want to add. We're going to create a nice cheesy top layer. All right, now this just goes right into our oven. We're gonna put it in for about seven minutes or so. What you want is you want all of that cheese on top melted. All right, so our seven minute timer just went off. We're gonna go ahead and bring this out and there you have it. Look at that, that nice coating of the mashed potatoes. Now you can use any mashed potatoes for this. I just uh, really like Wolf's garlic mashed potatoes with the green onions and the chives and everything that's in there. All right. Okay, here we got that nice, almost pie crust topping with mashed potatoes and all that goodness underneath. We're just going to scoop some of this out and get a good look at that. Get our bowl here. And there you have it. Well, I'm Retro, and this is Wolf's Tavern, and uh, I'm going to go enjoy some of this myself. 
Uh, be sure to check out all of our socials down below. We're also affiliated with Geek News Now, so be sure to head on over to geeknewsnow.net to check out all of their amazing content and articles and geek news related things. So uh, until next time, enjoy. <laughs>